Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. I have started a video series on uh, uh, building an Apache Spark data frame tutorial. So in this video we saw, uh, in this uh, video series we saw uh, many examples like how to create a data frame using a file system uh, like a CSV file, JSON file uh, and other files, right? And also we saw different data source APIs uh, to connect uh, NoSQL tables and RDBMS tables and uh, uh, retrieve the data and uh, create the data frame. And we started with the uh, uh, last few videos how to do the transformation or data frame operations. So in this video, I'm going to uh, cover the uh, next transformation uh, like a group by and aggregate, okay, is AGG. Okay, let's uh, uh, see with the example and I will explain you in detail. So I created a, uh, um, for this video series, I created a, a SPD space Scala project where I uh, provide the uh, dependencies in the build.spd file. Okay, for this example, we just only uh, Spark uh, SQL uh, uh, dependencies enough for that. So, okay, once we add this, we'll just open this uh, example. Uh, in this example, I, I actually created a simple data set and uh, I used how to uh, 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 do the, uh, the trace of data frame uh, operation like uh, group by and aggregate. Okay, so first what I did is I just created a package. The, my package name is uh, com.datamaking.apache.spark.dataframe. Uh, I imported a necessary packages for uh, like uh, uh, row for creating row object. Uh, so row class is imported and the Spark session class and other data types for creating a schema. So everything I imported. So there I'm going to use the functions like uh, uh, sum and uh, uh, count kind of thing. So those are the uh, uh, functions also I imported using the uh, org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot functions uh, dot underscore, which will import all the um, necessary functions from that package, right? So I created a, a spark color scala uh, object class, uh, and I created a main method with uh, all this code. Okay. Now what we are going to do is first we created the Spark session object. Okay, so I build a simple data set. Okay, so it's like orders details. Okay, so if example, if you go to any key commerce site or any uh, site, okay, so you get uh, sorry for the interruption. So um, I created this uh, um, orders uh, um, data set. Like if you go to any e commerce site or any um, uh, uh, simple uh, um, uh, uh, like where we can do the where we can do the transactions like if you go and purchase something and you get a transaction right so those details i just took the subset of the data like uh, not all the details like i only took this uh, order id like uh, one column with order id and a card type so example you make some transaction what type of card you use uh, it's a master card or it's a uh, <coughs> master card or visa card kind of things Right, and also I just took only the product category, okay. So and uh, order amount, and the order date time and user ID, okay. So with this uh, simple data set, it just contains uh, six columns, right? So I have uh, uh, ten orders details, okay, one to ten. So we are going to uh, see this order by example and sorry group by example and aggregate uh, functions usage using this data set, okay. So uh, I just created a sequence of uh, uh, row objects. Then I create a schema for this uh, uh, data set. Okay, so to create a schema, so basically you need to create a uh, stack type with array of stack fields. So each stack fields refers to the particular column, right? Once you define that, so we can create a data frame. So to create a data frame, I'm using a create data frame function, which is part of uh, Spark session, and you pass two argument. One is the RDD. Okay, this RDD is actually built uh, using this. Uh, sequence of row objects, right? You can uh, convert a, a sequence object into sequence of uh, uh, row objects into RDD using a parallelized method. And also we are passing the schema. So you get a uh, data frame. So in this, from this data frame, you can do uh, many operations. So first what I'm doing is I'm just printing the, uh, the, all the rows from this data frames, frame. Okay, once the, uh, you see the data of uh, the data frame, say example, let me run this. Uh, let it get run. I will just uh, explain you. So 
so first what we are going to do is we are going to do a group by operation okay so when you apply group by operation okay so uh, when you apply group by operation it's like a group by is like similar like how we use in uh, uh, sql okay structure query language if you are familiar with rdbms it's very simple for you okay so when you apply a uh, this is a data frame like you can think of the table so we are going to apply a group by on a column card type okay so it will group uh, uh, card type okay we have only uh, three type of uh, uh, card type in this data set okay so it will give you the uh, it's give you the relation data set okay so uh, so and uh, we can actually i just uh, to know the data type of this object i just printed the uh, this uh, uh, orders underscore group one dot get class and also i put uh, two string so that you can see the schema of uh, that particular object okay so this is uh, let us uh, see the uh, so in this uh, second example i used a group by on two columns so you can uh, you know that group by can be applied on mul one or multiple columns right so in this example we applied a group by on order card type so in this example you just say uh, this orders data frame dot group by so you can pass multiple columns like uh, order card type as well as card product category so on both uh, uh, column i am applying a group by okay so you get a relation uh, uh, data set so if you see the example the output so we got uh, the orders data set with the 10 rows okay so we have uh, six columns right and we just printed that so if you see here so it printed the relational uh, uh, grouped data set so th the type of this uh, object is uh, relational uh, uh, relational group data set so if you see here it is uh, basically this is your key which is uh, basically on what column you are applying the group by and the values be all the grouped values so all this it's showing us uh, 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 array okay all the columns so this is how the the grouped object will be the relational grouped uh, data set object will be so here we applied on two columns so you see here it's uh, uh, again it's uh, uh, applied on the uh, two data set one is the card type and uh, product category and value is remaining all this grouped values okay uh, so we have a uh, um, three type of cards in the, our data set master and visa and uh, uh, mastercard okay now let's see this uh, next example so uh, yeah so this is a simple i just want to show you a distinct card type so that's why you see here and the fourth example what we are doing is basically we want to use this aggregate function so when you use font to aggregate function actually you do the group by on particular column then with that the relational uh, group data set you apply the aggregate function so when you ask the aggregate for uh, use the aggregate this uh, uh, data frame operation you have to pass the the aggregate function which you want to apply on that particular uh, uh, columns right so i just pass a count okay i just want to uh, find the count of orders so based on the uh, uh, grouped card type okay the, the group which is done uh, the grouped by using the card type okay so you can pass uh, um, count of the order order this can be any column you just going to do the count okay i just provided a order underscore id okay so i just printed the data frame so how you the result you get is here so it is grouped based on the uh, card type and how many orders you got the mastro has uh, two orders and visa has four orders and master mastercard also four orders orders so that's why it is saying account see see the example in the fourth the result of fourth example it shows actually the column type as one is card type which is came from the grouped uh, one the grouped column and the second column basically it says uh, 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 the uh, the column name is uh, count uh, count of uh, the open bracket close bracket inside that you are already but if you want to change this column name how do you change this so we know that previous example we saw using the alias you can change the column name right uh, so uh, while displaying for displaying purpose right if you want to do change permanently gently we go for rename we'll see in the future example so uh, here uh, 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 the alias can be used to uh, change this column while displaying the output okay so that's what we are doing in the example file so you do the group by based on the card type you apply the count operation and whatever the result you come that count of order uh, um, id column you just change 
alias of orders count okay so that's you see in the example uh, 5 a result of example 5 right so in the sixth example what we are seeing is so we know that uh, group by can be applied on multiple columns so in this example we saw only the card type uh, here we are going to see the both card type we are going to apply the group by on both card type as well as the product category so you say data frame this is the original data frame orders dot df orders underscore df dot group by of two columns one is card type and a product category so then result of that uh, relational group data set you apply a aggregate function so in the aggregate function what you do is you do uh, sum of uh, uh, sum of orders amount okay uh, sum of order amount okay so you apply this uh, um, uh, so basically uh, okay so yeah so order uh, so on the we are going to do the sum sum on the order amount column right uh, then the result we are going to show okay so in the seventh example how we are seeing is basically same the sixth fifth example sixth example i just want why i am writing two different example of same thing is uh, only with a little change i just want to show you the difference okay just so that you can understand easily okay so here you get the column name as sum of order amount okay, you can see the output of fifth okay sixth sorry so sum of order amount so if you want to change this column name you can use the alias and give the name as uh, uh, total uh, order amount so basically you are getting group by of two columns order card type and product category what the aggregate function you are applying it's a sum so aggregate of sum function you are applying on the order amount then we change the column name using the alias uh, a function okay and then showing the data frame okay this is how we are doing so let me run and show you the again the entire uh, result so i am running on local mode uh, so basically this same code can be uh, run it on a cluster mode it will so you just have to uh, build this code as a jar okay once you build this uh, you can just go to this uh, uh, build uh, uh, project so you get a um, um, the jar of this project then you can actually using the spark submit command you can run this code in the um, cluster also that's no issue on that so it is running this so all the sixth example ran seventh example ran you see here here you got sum of order amount here uh, order uh, uh, total orders amount the column is name is changed so if you see here basically this has uh, eight rows right you see here eight row the original data frame was 10 rows so we just got clubbed uh, basically if uh, let's go to the original example so if you see here if you just group by card type and product category in visa you have uh, appliance computers and uh, accessories again here visa electronics is there and this is visa and computer accessory so this number uh, 142.617 uh, and uh, dollar or uh, nr uh, so with uh, added will be added with uh, uh, 3500 dot uh, uh, 65 uh, dollar okay these two will be added so that you will see uh, 3600 or something and uh, other group is uh, basically visit the mastro Mastro is one transaction here, one two transaction. Both are different product categories, so it will be individual row only. If you look at the Mastercard, uh, 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 electronics item is there, and appliance is there, and books are there, and here there is electronics item. So from eight uh, eight seventeen dot one five dollar plus uh, uh, five six uh, three dot one five dollar. So you club this, it will come around. Uh, 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 thousand uh, uh, to uh, thousand three hundred uh, dollar or something okay so you see that as a result here a uh, mastercard electronics uh, combination it comes around a thousand three hundred dollar and for uh, visa card with the computer accessories around six thousand six hundred dollar okay so this is how you can apply the uh, group by operation and as well as aggregate function on the uh, spark data frame okay i hope this video is helpful Please provide your feedback so that I can improve my uh, examples or uh, uh, I can try different example. Uh, uh, you can give your suggestion. I will do it in the future videos. Okay. Um, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, 
that I'm making. Okay, so I have many playlists here uh, on uh, different topics like uh, PySpark, and uh, I have developed uh, um, uh, three projects using Spark. Um, and we have a Kafka example, Python example. We have a uh, uh, entire uh, data engineering uh, video series which covers uh, MapReduce, Hadoop, Hive, other stuff, right? So I and also I have a project task on uh, both the Spark as well as the how the real time they can be uh, the the Spark usage and Hadoop usage is happening in the real time scenario. I put those videos also here. Please subscribe to my channel and. Uh, 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 just take the uh, 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 make use of these videos and provide your feedbacks. I'm happy to um, help you out. Thank you so much, friends. Uh, um, see you in the next video. Thank you so much.